Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. This one's definitely a lot more packed than what we're used to with what's been going on over the last month. But as you can see, one extra piece of Alpen Fury track has arrived, but you guys already know that from the drone footage. Um, outside of that, nothing too much else has arrived. Um, but uh, they have these new digital signs that are near uh, the medieval entrance and the world expo entrance on the other side as well and there's going to be other ones um, added into the park so um, over by flying canoes there's one over there as well really curious to see what they're going to have on those screens is it just going to be um, signs is it going to be an interactive park map or is it going to be some sort of interactive something the signs are themed and different on either side and i have a feeling flying canoes will be different as well um, but outside of that nothing going on in terms of vertical construction um, i am hearing that the contracts aren't finalized for the company that is going to be actually doing vertical construction and that's a part of the reason as to why we haven't seen any of the site offices on. We haven't seen the company even on site. So I do believe that rumor that I've heard um, about the contracts not being finalized, but they are almost finalized from what I'm hearing. And we should see vertical construction starting shortly. Um, nothing new really going on top of the mountain. Um, that is different from what we've already seen, especially from Wonderland social media posts. But as you can see here, a lot more trees have been removed in the area. It's starting to look a lot more bare. Now, I want to talk about what's going on in terms of construction. So I can tell you that I know everything about the process that is going on in terms of the construction site right now. So this work you're seeing taking place on Saturdays and Sundays is not actually construction. It is the crew that is responsible for um, assembling those steel rebar cages. So no construction takes place, no digging of the footings, no digging of the caissons. Um, it is essentially just a crew that is there to assemble all that um, steel into rebar cages. So nothing uh, going on, but here is a really good view of all of the work that has gone on on Extreme Sky Flyer's plot of land. There is a ton of footings that are complete. There are a ton of caissons that are going to become footings. Um, and there's a ton of threaded rod back there um, that is going to connect to the support columns. If you look at some of those, some of those are beefy. Some of those are like my size um, width-wise. So um, that's crazy uh, just seeing those up close. Uh, but outside of that, nothing else too much going on in Extreme Sky Flyers plot of land. As you can see, that last little steel or um, metal cage-like thing that was over by the fly is now being utilized over in Extreme Sky Flyer's plot of land. That is for one of the curve pieces leading up to the highest point of the Extreme Sky Flyer element. Um, as you can see here, this is the patio for uh, Grand World Eatery. Um, it has some caissons in the ground there. So that's really cool to see it working its way back over there. They have not done the caissons and footings in the, the pathway that I'm currently standing on, they're going to leave those, I guess, until that break after um, Halloween Haunt, or I don't know what's going to go on, but they've skipped over those couple of footings, um, and they've moved on over into the Pizza Pizza side of International, um, closer to International Showplace. So um, not too much else outside of that. Again, um, you're going to see some crews back there. They're not working on the footings. That caisson machine is not going, um, but uh, they are assembling the rebar cages. That'll then be put into the ground from Monday to Friday. Um, and yeah, so they're definitely catching up in terms of the footings. I know that sounds crazy to say. I said it in my last video, but, uh, they definitely can assemble this coaster very quickly. I know a lot of people aren't going to believe me on that. I'll eat my words if I'm wrong, but I'm being told that this coaster is going to be assembled very quickly after the very complicated process of getting all the footings into these complex areas. It's going to be a very quick prog uh, process. So, um, yeah, here's another really cool angle of Alpen Fury. So I really like this angle for showing you guys um, the overall 
area of Extreme Sky Flyer. It's probably the best view in the park, so hopefully you enjoy it. Um, but as you see, a lot of caissons, a lot more caissons completed than they are actual footings. Um, and for those of you that are wondering the difference, the caisson is the actual part that's in the ground, and the footing is the completed footing that will then connect to the coaster. So it's just a bit of terminology. Don't worry too much. Honestly, I could stop using the word caisson and just call them footings, to be honest, but I'm just trying to get my terminology correct for you guys. I do want to talk to you guys about something. There is potentially another construction project that is going to be happening over the off season and it involves our tolls. So there are some construction stakes and markings over in the toll booth area. It would make sense that they go to a more digital um, self-service kiosk entrance into the park. Um, and hopefully that's what's going on. So we'll keep our eyes on the toll booths. Um, as that is something that could end up being really exciting. But here is that location of the other digital um, sign that'll be going up. I don't know if there's gonna be others. There probably will be others, but that's the last one that I know of. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's construction update. Have a good one. Bye.